Good morning, it's George with Watchman. How are you today? We're gonna to make a video this morning, simply how to teach your dog to come when called. And this command to come, or the recall as they refer to it as, uh, can be a life and death command. And that's easy enough to understand. Your dog's uh, maybe gonna run off in the road or something, and you want it to reliably come when you call the dog. And so there's a few steps in the process of teaching that. And we'll go over them in this video, and I trust that it will be helpful to you. And so, Kanoxi, Kanoze. The first thing I would say, Kanoze, Kanoxi, Kanoze. The first thing I would say is the tools that we want to use when we're doing any training, right? And keep in mind, of course, that there's the teaching phase, that's when the dog has to be taught the command, and then the training, which you want to uh, take that further you want to refine and you want to even get it to as with the come command or the recall command you want that command to be really uh refined where your dog responds instantaneously so the tools the number one tool is the pinch collar because the pinch collar is very effective in getting your dog's attention cross is trained he's highly trained he doesn't need a pinch collar he doesn't need a collar at all but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to put the pinch collar on him and we're going to go over again a few steps. Number one, we're going to start him with the short leash. There's a four foot leash and then we're going to step it up to a longer leash. And that's really where the command is refined. And so let's do that. Can I see? Can I say? Can I say? So you, you'll hear from a lot of trainers where you want to build upon your uh, prior work with the dog, right? So obviously that's easy to follow, the shorter leash to the longer leash. And then after the longer leash, it's no leash. And that's really when you're bringing it to the effectiveness of the recall being uh, obeyed instantly, again, not just to make the dog do something, but for number one, its own protection. And so uh, let's just go ahead now and we'll see. And I'm just gonna do a few little steps. And again, I really told you everything you need to know. And I wanna encourage you by going through the steps to get your dog to that point where he reliably or she reliably comes when called. So what I'm gonna do is just back up from cross a little bit. Kroxi. Sydney. Zustan. Zustan means stay. And so now I'm going to make him come, which command for come is kemye, kemye. So I give a little tug on the leash. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to back up. Zustan. Kemye. Obviously, of course, is highly trained. And, uh, you know, he feels liberty at times, of course. So let's do that again. Another as always, of course, in teaching and training, repetition is key. So I'm not going to go over that anymore here in this portion of the video, but just to show you. Now I'm going to grab the longer leash, stand by. Okay, so I had the longer leash. This is a 20 foot leash. They have them in 30 and even up to 50 foot. And the thing here is where the dog is still on the leash. Let me get it untangled, trying to do two things at once. Not my forte. Uh, to have where the dog is not right at your side, as with the shorter leash, but he's still under your control somewhat, or she, as it may be. So, uh, same thing. I'm just gonna tell Cross to stay. I'm gonna back up, and I'm gonna have him come, and we have the 20 feet between me and him. And they get the idea, so it takes, again, repetition. You gotta do it and do it. Three, four sessions a day, just 10 minutes, really. Start small, in the house, no distractions. You move it to outside, try to keep the distractions to a minimum, 
and you want to build up to where there are distractions on purpose. Maybe you have someone come and stand by as you're going over the routine where his attention is fixed on you. And so that comes about through some other training as well, the heel, the sit, the stay, the stand, stay, the down, and the come. The come is the last of the obedience commands, and that's for a reason. So let me just, uh, without further delay, get him to come at 20 feet. Zusank looks here. You notice I watch him, because if he does anything that I don't want him to do, I can correct him right away. So here we are about 20 feet away. He's staying there. So now I'm going to give him the command. Come here. Come here. Sydney Klopsi. Oh, Zustan, Zustan. Zustan Klopsi. Oh, oi. Sydney, Sydney Klopsi. I told him to say that he laid down actually, but you know. He doesn't realize it makes me look bad. Proxy, come here. Come here. Sydney. Very good. Very good. Yeah, so that's step two, right? I'll discard the leash here. That's step two. And step three is no leash. So uh, I'll just mention, a uh, matter of fact, that I don't really do a lot of work with the uh, cross and even my other dogs as far as uh, the obedience commands are concerned. I bring them out here off leash and they come when I call them and it's never a problem. Uh... Right now, Cross is feeling a little liberty. I have a, a friend here, my nephew, visiting, a good friend, a uh, lovely guy. And so uh, Cross kind of knows he can get away with things. And maybe you know that with kids, uh, your children, or you've seen it in kids, where when company's over, the rules are a little flexible. Well, that's how it is with Cross. And again, I don't really do a lot of work with them. They're already trained and they do all I, I want them to do, which, again, chief among them is they come when I call them, on leash or off leash. So uh, we'll go over it off the leash just one, one or two times, and you already understand what I'm conveying to you about these process, short leash, long leash, no leash. And that's really all you have to know besides repetition and, of course, the other commands you build up, you build upon the, the previous work that you've done. Heel, sit. Big dummy! You build upon the previous work that you've done. Heel, sit, stay, stand, stay, down, come. Critical that you establish that, that step up to the ultimate where the dog comes when you call it. So, enough said. Coxie, come here. Let me. Let me. Even though I don't necessarily have to watch cross, I'm showing you what you should do. Watch your dog as you're uh, backing up. Come here, Kenosei. Sit there. Help me, Kenosei. Kenosei, help me. Let me, Kenosei. Let me. Zustan, Zustan. Come here. Kenose, Kenose, Kenose. Yeah, so you know what? That's all you need to know. And it's really that simple. The thing is the repetition, making sure that you commit yourself to it. And over... Uh, over a month's time, you can really get somewhere with the recall or the calm command, as with all the commands, but you must spend the time. And that's really the most important thing, right, is that you put in that time, again, three, four, five times a day, five, ten minute sessions, uh, as much as you can, and you'll be surprised how far that will take you. So, appreciate you watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, comments and questions. Uh, I really appreciate that. 
Above all this, uh, the Lord bless you as you trust him. Trust the Lord today. And I sure hope you do. And God bless you as you do. Have a great day. Good boy, Kluxy. Good morning, it's George with Watchman. How are you? We're gonna make a video this morning, how to teach your dog to come when called. Uh, it's a, a comm Hi, this is George with Watchman. How are you today? We're gonna to make a video this morning, how to get your dog to come when called. Very important command uh, to have precise Oh, you know what? I could just start again and cut the thing. This is George of Washington with Jervis Ashes. <laughs> hey, it's George with Watchman. How are you today? Today we're going to go over a video. We're not going over a video, we're making a video. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, it's George with Watchman. How are you today? Uh, we're gonna go over a video here. I said the same thing. 